Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky, and today we're going to be using the Paige Evans Horizon collection for our layout. You can see in the top right hand corner, I am actually scrapbooking myself. This is a layout I did um, for, what is it called? St. Patrick's Day. My It's a picture of my son, and he has this green poop hat on, and I titled it Poop Hat. Anyways, I'm using that layout to build this one. I start out by using a white background. This is the White Daisy cardstock by Close to My Heart. It's the my favorite cardstock right now. I love how smooth it is. It's really great for stamping. I did use this Ray paper. Now when I first saw this paper, I thought, well, that could be a background and you can like stitch between all the rays. I have not done that one yet. I do have a couple of these papers. I went a little bonkers when I got the Horizon collection. I got the paper pad plus several papers. So right here, I did go ahead and use the right over on the left hand side. I thought I'd use this stripe paper as well, but I don't end up using that. I do keep that plus sign paper right there. Um, that one does stay. The photo that I just put down, it is a photo of the courthouse that is in Law and Order. So that's actually what I'm going to title this is Law and Order. You can see right here from the 6x8 paper pad, I went ahead and followed, Just I just let this pattern guide me. So I went ahead and fussy cut that out. I'm going to use a strip with the pink and green. It's going to go vertical. And the coral color one is going to go horizontal on this layout. I really enjoy letting the pattern papers guide me from time to time. A lot of the pattern papers, they have just very unique patterns on them that are perfect for cutting out. And I really enjoy doing that. This is going to be the base of my layout minus that striped paper. It is going to go away, like I said before. I'm going to lay this down right here. And I'm going to put this courthouse picture right there. Now, this is uh, when Jim and I went to New York City. And we were on the big bus when I took this photo. And the guide was talking about how that's the courthouse that is in the Law and Order shows, which I have probably watched every single episode they've ever made of Law and Order. So I thought, oh, yeah, I need a picture of that. Well, you can see right here, I did already pull my title out. I used those multicolor fonts that was from Paige Evans, which Paige Evans, which has been very hard for me to use, but this is the third layout I used it on. And for some reason, I decided I wanted a circular element. So I go ahead and use some crochet, th crochet thread right here and just make it into a circle shape. Um, where the shape is wonky, it's okay. I will cover that up with some ephemera. I don't know why I decided I needed to throw the, sh the circle shape in there, but for some reason, I felt like I needed to. So there you go. I am going to pull out some of the die cuts from this same collection right here. I'm putting down the foam tape. I wanted my photo to be up on foam tape just because I used several layers of that crochet thread. So I needed to put foam tape under there so it will be popped up as much. That die cut I am going to use. That's the one I was talking about how where the shape is wonky, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to cover it up. I'm also going to use this sticker right here. It is a globe and I do put that on some foam tape as well. Just like that. Um, we were traveling and that globe says travel new roads. So yeah, right here under the law and order, I am going to use this sticker here. It says experience. I do put that up on foam tape as well. I layer it over a floral sticker. So it says law and order experience and that's what is going to go there. I'm actually going to use a scooter embellishment here. You see, I'm looking at the bike. It's going the wrong direction. I don't know what a bike and a scooter have to do with this. Absolutely nothing. But I am going to use a scooter and I'm also going to pop this up on some foam tape. See how the circle is wonky down there? I wanted something in that area so I can kind of partially cover up the wonkiness of that circle. <laughs> that was the whole point of it. So I am going to pop this up on some foam tape and the handlebars in the front wheel of this die cut are going to kind of go over that circle. So you, maybe you can't tell it's so wonky. Again, I have no idea why I decided to put that circle element in there. I just did. Here I'm committing to that bottom layer, that bottom portion where I said I was putting the experience down with the sticker. 
I'm going to go ahead and commit to that right here. On this layout, this layout, I choose to use buttons for my finishing touches. I am just going to put down three yellow buttons. Here I was trying out some um, darker colors. I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with the yellow, and I'm going to have three of them. I, of course, will need to stitch through them, and so I do glue them onto my background, and then I will stitch through them and cover up the backs with washi tape. I don't know why. It's a thing... It must be the the part of me that uh, used to have sewing as my hobby. So here we go. We're going to just go ahead and stitch down. We're just basic stitching it down with an X. So it's pretty easy. After I do that, I'm not going to do anything else to this layout. I don't even do splatters, guys. Can you believe that? I know, right? insane. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and also check the description box down below for all the handy-dandy links. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.